It is spooky season, and we are background noise. My name is Casey. My name is Eric. This episode is about the holiday of Halloween. What even is Halloween? Well, that's what today's episode is about. So, we're going to start about, like, the origins of the... Halloween. Of the Halloween. Variety. (laughs) The Halloween holiday has its roots in the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, a pagan religious celebration to welcome the harvest at the end of summer, when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. Oh. So that was, like ancient halloween yeah halloween's definitely changed since then though for sure well wearing costumes still the same very true what i was going to add was where the word halloween actually comes from oh cool um it traces back to medieval christianity the word hallow is derived from the middle and old english words for holy Interestingly enough, as a noun, it actually also can mean saint. Like you said, it was a day before Saint's Day, Mm -hmm. and it was called All Hallows Day. And now, it's been shortened for a long time, but it's been shortened to Halloween rather than All Hallows, which is very interesting. I didn't know it was All Hallows, but that's cool to know that it actually means saint, Mm -hmm. the word. That's very interesting. Yeah. And then I'm going to go into more about, like, the traditions, like, where carving jack-o'-lanterns came from. Okay. So, the tradition carving jack-o'-lanterns originated in Ireland, and they mm. used turnips instead of pumpkins. Really? Yeah. Turnips are small, though, I know, aren't they? I feel like, unless you, like, have the huge, like, well, it's Ireland. hugest I- turnip in the world. And so it's allegedly based on a legend about a man named Stingy Jack who repeatedly trapped the devil and only let go on the condition that Jack would never go to hell. Weird. Ooh, but his sinful dealings kept his soul out of heaven. That's what mine says. Yeah, mine said says, (gasps) but when Jack died, he learned that heaven did not want his soul either. So he was forced to wander the earth as a ghost for all of eternity. And mine also says, his soul roams the earth, lighting his path with an ember held in a carved radish. Mm-hmm. Mine says the same, a coal, a lump of, burning lump of coal in a carved out turnip to light his way. That's pretty interesting. That is. Um, mine actually says something for bobbing for apples. Became popular as a fortune telling game. Really? Apples would be selected to represent a woman's suitors. And the guy, uh, Apple, she ended up biting, would supposedly represent her future husband. Hmm. It was a matchmaking opportunity for young women in the 19th century. That's very strange. That is weird. That is weird. I don't think I like that. Yeah. Um, I don't think I do either. So I'm going to go into about, like, wearing the costume. You bite this apple and that's your husband. (laughs) Anyways, going into costumes... In order to avoid being terrorized by all the evil spirits walking the earth during Samhain, Celts donned disguises so that they would not be mistaken for spirits themselves and be left alone. Interesting. Okay, so mine mentions the how tradition of trick-or-treating began, specifically in the United States. I don't know if yours is a little bit different. uh, Yeah, I don't think mine does. Um, But it says the candy-grabbing concept became mainstream in the early to mid-1900s during which families provided treats to children, hoping that they would be immune to pranks. Is that all? Yeah, it's very Mine small. has three theories on how trick-or-treating... Ooh, okay. Theory number one. Theory number one. I gotta know. Was during the Celtic people's time, and they'd leave food out to appease the spirits traveling the earth at night. Okay. Over time, people began to dress as these unearthly beings in exchange for similar offerings of food and drink. Oh, The second theory speculates that the candy boon stems from Scottish practice of guising, which is a secular version of souling. Interesting. During the Middle Ages, generally, children and poor adults would collect food and money from local homes in return for prayers for the dead on All Souls Day. Okay. Geysers dropped the prayers in favor of non-religious practices 
with the inclusion of songs, jokes, and other tricks. Okay. So the tricks. And That's where the trick tr- yeah. part came from? A third theory argues that the modern American trick-or-treating stems from bell snickling. That's the funniest word I've heard, I think. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> bell snickling. A German-American Christmas tradition where children would dress in costume and then call on their neighbors to see if the adults could guess identities of the disguised. In one version of the practice, the children were rewarded with food or other treats if no one could identify them. Oh, I, I so think that's, that's where the cool. treat came from. I bet there's probably a combination of all these theories. Oh, totally. Okay, so I wanted to talk about black cats. The idea of being spooked by black cats dates back to the Middle Ages, when these dark felines were considered a symbol of the devil. It didn't help that centuries later, accused witches were often found to have cats, particularly black ones. People began to believe that the cats were a witch's familiar. A familiar is a supernatural entity that would assist in their practice of dark magic. And black cats and spookiness have been linked ever since. Um, first of all, black cats are the cutest of all the cats. Um, they're the most snuggly and the most fun and the cutest and the most adorablest. So they're not spooky and do not hurt black cats on Halloween. People have to do this. Like if you have black cats, you need them inside on Halloween or around that time because people people kick them. them. Yeah, they'll hurt. Like kill them. Be so particularly cruel to black cats. It's awful because they're literally the best thing ever. Anyways. Coming up next is some scary questions. Would you sleep in a coffin for a night? No. Why? Because why? Why wouldn't you? Because why would I? I could sleep in my own bed. Very dark. You could sleep in the daytime. You could. There would be no light. Yeah. Would you rather sleep in a basement of a real haunted house alone for one night or sleep in a cemetery alone for one night? Basement of a haunted house. Why? Because you're inside of a house, at least, and not outside. Anyone could get you if you're outside. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? My favorite scary movie, mm-hmm. A Quiet Place. Ooh, that's a good scary movie. What's your favorite scary movie? I think my favorite scary movie would either be probably The Ring. Would you try a straight jacket for $100? Yeah. Absolutely. Because it would come off. That's a hundred freaking dollars. I'm richer. What are you McDonald's for a hundred dollars? I mean, like, obviously. (laughs) Honestly. (laughs) What villain or monster do you think is misunderstood? I don't know. That's a hard question. I feel like Frankenstein. A hundred percent. Probably. Yeah. He's so misunderstood. Yeah, true. Well, is Frankenstein the doctor, actually? Yeah. Frankenstein's monster. I feel like Frankenstein's monster is so misunderstood because it's all Frankenstein's fault. Right. It's all the doctor's fault. Right. True. That's so true. Are you afraid of clowns? Yeah, I hate clowns. I'm not, like, afraid. Like, I'm not going to, like, see one on the street and run. Well, if it had, like, if I (laughs) see one on the street and just randomly, I might just be, like, run away. Get out of here. Like, if I was outside at night and there's a clown around, absolutely. I am sending them straight to jail and I am running away the other direction. Honest. Do you remember in, like, 2016 when there was, like, the clown... Killers all around? Yes. Yeah, it was annoying. I was literally afraid to go take the so trash can I. outside. <laughs> so was I. If your life was a scary movie, what would the title be? The Red-Headed Ghost. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Beware of the redhead. What's yours? Is it a dream or real life? Ew, I hate that. Why did you come <laughs> up with that? That's terrifying. <laughs> That was so good, I feel like. You're like, oh, he doesn't sleep. Is it a dream or real life? Ew. (laughs) Have you ever murdered somebody? Absolutely not. (laughs) Have you? No. Oh, good. What is the grossest Halloween candy? Double bubble gum. Really? Absolutely. It's like you're eating dirt rubber. I feel like candy corn. I agree. Take my <laughs> back. I do not like candy corn. Nasty. Candy corn is nasty. nasty. I don't understand why people like it. It's disgusting. So true. But what's your favorite Halloween candy? Probably like Reese's or something. Interesting. Twix, 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 Twix. Oh my gosh, Twix are so good. 100%. My favorite? Twix. Heavens to Betsy. Twix. Twix. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was um, would be Kit Kat. I would dig those out. Oh, I, those yeah. would be gone immediately for me. Absolutely. That's I never one. really loved trick-or-treating, though. I would rather hand candy out. That's more fun. Really? Even now, even then as a kid, 
I went trick or treating, but not for long. Like I went around the block and then yeah. came home and handed candy out. <laughs> you like to see everyone else's costume. For sure, that's super fun. And give people handfuls of candy. Vampires or werewolves? Vampires. Why? What even are werewolves? I think vampires because they look cool. Like a werewolf is just like a rabid beast. <laughs> like a vampire is like, I don't say blah, blah, blah. That's all I can think of. <laughs> um, pumpkin seeds or pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. Absolutely pumpkin Who pie. Eats the seeds? That's not even. You've never had pumpkin seeds? No. Really? So I guess I can't really say I would not eat a seed. Well, it's they're good. But what if like, I grew a pumpkin in my stomach? Oh my god! I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're good, but like absolutely not as good as pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin pie is delicious, are you especially Costco's. Are you the first one into a haunted house, or are you being dragged by friends? Oh, I want to go. Me too. I we always go. go. I we go to a that. lot of them. Yeah. Honest. We've been to everyone in our state. Except one. We're going to go this year. Hee <laughs> hee. No, I think there's two or three we haven't gone to. Ha haunted houses. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few I feel like we haven't gone. What's your favorite Halloween costume that you've ever had? I feel like I was a vampire for like 10 years in a row. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um, I'm just going to, I feel like just a vampire. Just a vampire? Yeah. Or a witch. I was a Ooh, witch, too. That's fun. What about you? I was all sorts of things. I think my favorite was probably when I was Joker. That's cool. Yeah, we went, like, all out. My whole family <clears> did <throat> matching that year. So, like, I was Joker. My mom was Riddler. My dad was Penguin. My younger brothers were Robin and Batman. I like that a lot. It was super fun. That sounds super fun. One year I was Tin Man. That's cool. It was cool. And my family was all Wizard of Oz characters. I can't really find any more questions. All right. Well, that's all we've got for you. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs> Why did you end it so quickly? Do you want to? Want to what? End it. Well, there's not. I can't find any other I don't have questions. any more either. Thanks for listening. You didn't think that was funny at all. What? Me just doing it like that. <laughs> You're just like, see you, bye. <laughs> that would be so funny if it just ended like that. Do it. Just kidding. We're not really going to end it like that. So sudden. Not so sudden. But. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this Halloween history episode. Um, we, we know it's short, but maybe we got some plans. Yeah. Spooky season does happen to be our, like, our favorite time of the year. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't doubt if there's more coming. Listen up. Keep your notifications on. Be prepared. Be prepared. And don't let the ghosts get you. Don't let the ghosts tickle your toes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. See ya. See ya.